Our national and state parks seem to be the latest casualties of the recession and budget cuts in the federal and state government. Our national parks total budget was $2.4 billion in fiscal year 2009, including $2.13 billion for operation of the national park system. The National Park Service would receive $2.7 billion under the Interior, Environment and Related Agencies Fiscal Year 2010 Bill, passed by the House of Representatives on June 26. This represents a $198 million increase over the 2009 parks budget. In many states, the parks are a last priority. For example, Arizona State Parks are closing. Their budget has been reduced by 27% in 2009. Approximately 25 to 30 employees will be laid off throughout the state park system. Some parks operations will be reduced to high season months, open five days a week, or only for special events and other uses. Those changes will begin as of October 1, 2009. Now all of the funds to operate the state parks department must be earned through gate fees or must come from the remaining conservation funds. In California, many of the wildfires have been directly caused from budget cuts to their bankrupt state government. The underbrush and debris mixed with extreme summer heat provide plenty of fuel this year for the traditional fire season. California spends over $60 million a year fighting brush fires. You would think if they turn their attention to prevention and maintenance of the open range areas and state parks, they might be able to save the billion dollars worth of losses to the property owners and insurance companies. Again, this is Meredith Robertson for HotChickStockPicks.com.